been a pretty busy weekend for the Patriots. The biggest news that we got was Demarcus Covington to be the newest defensive coordinator for the Patriots. This one wasn't a really big surprise. He seemed like the most deserving candidate uh, already. All the work he's done with that defensive line, the best position group on the roster, the development of Christian Barmore, a lot of positives from him. So now he finally gets his shot. What were your thoughts when you heard about the hiring? Thought <laughs> About time. Uh, you know, I, I said this on my pod last Friday. I just didn't know what was taking so long. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's reason to panic or freak out or throw up a flare. It's just to say he's made sense all along. Uh, he shares an agent with Mayo. He's an excellent rising head coach, had coordinator interviews last year, did an excellent job by all accounts at the senior bowl, X's and O's, command of the room, connecting with players, basically has everything. So you also just st- look at this from the standpoint of you don't have many coaches promoted internally to a head coach position who suddenly want to change everything on day one like they want to keep Mm -hmm. their system in place they want to coach what they know with the people that they know so demarcus whether you look at his profile as just a young coach and his recent experience or the players he's developed or the fact that gerard is now his boss and they used to work together this made sense all along new customers join today and you get 200 dollars in bonus bets if your first bet of five dollars or more wins just visit FanDuel.com slash Boston to sign up. That's FanDuel.com slash Boston. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. We've also heard that Bill Belichick probably not going to land a job with the team this season, which means a lot of people on the Patriots staff could end up being retained. Now, that said, we did hear that, uh, I think Albert Breer reported this morning, that they could still hire some type of senior advisor to help with DeMarcus Covington because he's still a very young coach. I know we mentioned Christian Parker, the Broncos secondaries coach, who's also very young but seen as a riser in the NFL. So I'm curious, how do you think DeMarcus Covington staying is going to affect the staff? Also, Michael Hodges, someone they've been linked to, co-defensive coordinator with uh, Covington when they were at Eastern Illinois. Do you see any guy Guys that you really think are going to be added to the staff? Do you think there maybe going to be some changes? People that are there now, maybe going to be in different roles or no longer there. How do you think this all works out? Well, I think if they do go with the senior advisor role, and Mike Reese has mentioned this a couple of times, he's also in-house. Steve Belichick, who's not going to be calling plays most likely anymore. He's not going to be your defensive coordinator, obviously, but he's someone who has spent, again, all of his life since 2000, since Bill moved the family to New England, right here. It's where he's worked. It's where he's grown up. It's where he started a very small family. And the same holds true for Brian. But Steve has more experience than Brian. He has more experience than Gerard coaching the system, certainly more than DeMarcus. So I think if they wanted to go the advisor route, you might need to smooth over some in-house. I don't want to say politics that strong, but just some adjustment. These are the roles. These are responsibility. This is the pecking order. If you want to stay, get used to it or help us negotiate where we're all comfortable here. Uh, Aside from that, you know, Christian Parker is a name that I think could earn a title where we know Gerard feels very differently than Bill did about titles, right? You know, how do you pull him away? We'll give him a pass game coordinator title. He's worked in the secondary. Mm -hmm. He's a rising young coach, at least on the outside, as someone who probably, if he comes to New England, won't be here for more than a couple of years because he's getting coordinator interviews elsewhere. You know, make it seem like he's getting a promotion on the way up the ladder as opposed to just, well, why wouldn't he just stay in Denver, especially as a sought-after coach? So, yeah, I could see one of the two. Hodges seems to me as another riser. Uh, probably can pick his spots. He's you know been in the league a little bit longer than Parker, uh, but I think it would behoove the Patriots to get some new blood in here. Not only obviously on offense, but on defense too. It's been interesting as we project all these different titles. Now that we're actually using them, the Patriots usually when they did kind of have the titles on the website, it's just cornerbacks coach, secondaries coach. It'll be interesting to see. Do they go with their secondary rather than safeties and cornerbacks? Do they, you know, like the uh, the advisor roles where they haven't really had those much before and then going into even like a pass game coordinator. I've noticed you see it all over the league where, you know, other teams, especially on bigger staffs, they get a little bit more finite and different things that we haven't really seen with the Patriots. 